We live small, Michael here. Today I will talk about how the notion of field of view changed our layout. This is the original layout. When you walked into the room, you see a lot of objects not really related to each other. The light coming from the windows isn't used optimally. And there is a lot of empty space which can only be used as passageway. What is weird is that the bed is so close to the kitchen. In the kitchen, when you're doing the dishes, you're looking at a wall. When you're cooking, you're looking at a wall. The, the only storage space is this built-in wardrobe. When you have a look in the bathroom, the first thing you see is a radiator. Let's change all that by placing the bath as a central piece and everything else around it. The main functions are centralized. This is a great field of view example because this reorientation makes it possible to stay in contact with the other room if you want to. By flipping the door, we created a more comfortable hall hallway and by moving the built-in wardrobe, we freed up a lot of space. We also freed up the space between the windows by moving our radiator. We'll use that space later. The next big challenge was to liberate the space taken by the dominating bed. By moving the bed one level, we had enough room to place the kitchen more central. We, e we even devised the kitchen and moved the heating area to the space between the windows. When you're on the mezzanine, the whole kitchen is in your field of view and so are the windows. This configuration gives enough space to walk around the kitchen. The next big thing to change is a desk. Because while working on your desk you need to be concentrated, we decided to make sure you weren't disturbed by the environment. So we, we created a corner underneath the mezzanine, where you have the intimacy of your workbench within your field of view. It's just big enough to accommodate your action radius at arm's length. As an extension of the work area, we created a bar for light work such as drawings. Evidently, you, eating can be done at the bar as well. We stay in contact with each other as your field of views collide. Regarding the light, he who is drawing doesn't have to deal with an annoying drop shadow while drawing. While cooking, you stay in contact with what happens at the outside. He who is doing the dishes has the light coming from behind, lighting up his working area. Talking about dishes, this setup permits you to serve clean and clear the dining table from one and the same place. These extended window stills permits us, together with a radiator underneath them, to have a heated internal balcony. Since we have no walls to determinate rooms, we use the notional field of view to separate all functions when you are in front of them. And, once you take a step back, they form a whole. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we like making it. Have a great day and if you didn't already, please subscribe.